With the offseason officially underway for the San Francisco 49ers, we have seen a bunch of roster moves as they prepare to add guys to future contracts and sign free agents. And we have two free agent signings today. And as you can see in the picture, we have Ernest Brown, who is a former Northwestern Wildcat. He was drafted in 2021 in the fifth round, 175th overall by the Los Angeles Rams. He's 6'5", 270 pounds, so he is really great frame. Um, but he hasn't played all that much in the league. He's only seen action in 2022 and 2023 for a total of 192 snaps. He does have six total pressures throughout his career and six tackles, six assisted as well, and two run stops. So he hasn't played, like I said, all that much. But again, the 49ers get a guy that they will be able to have in uh, training camp. They'll have in OTAs. And as you guys know, they got to be at a 90-man roster. So they are going to be making some moves. And they've made 15 in total so far since the season has ended. And they made another one getting another defensive end, defensive lineman in Raymond Johnson. Uh, Johnson came out of Georgia Southern in 2021 as an undrafted free agent with the New York Giants. He stands at 6'3", 264 pounds. He saw action his rookie season. He got 166 snaps. He had four total pressures with one sack, three quarterback hurries, two tackles, and one missed tackle, and one run stop. Uh, but outside of that, he has not seen the field since 2021. So, uh, the, again, the 49ers are just loading up some depth, some guys that they can have in training camp, and they could be ready to go for the upcoming season. To recap all the signings so far, we had some roster moves yesterday. The 49ers signed Alex Barrett, who we know he's been on the roster since 2020. Austin Bryant, who was on and off the roster this year. Corey Luciano, who is an interior offensive lineman, who they signed as an undrafted free agent. And then T. White McGill, um, who was active for the Super Bowl. The 49ers picked him up in the middle of last season. And he he's played well when he's gotten his opportunities. But you've also heard that the 49ers signed uh, a bunch of other practice squad guys, such as Alfredo Gutierrez, Kamon Hall, Eric Harris, Taylor Hawkins, Tay Martin, uh, Curtis Robinson, Jake Tongas, uh, Spencer Weiji, and Sam Okuyunonu. I apologize for destroying your name. Um, but so the 49ers are, again, building out their roster, getting it to 90 um, as they get prepared for the upcoming offseason where they'll focus on adding more talent through the draft, through free agency, Obviously, they have their own players that they need to extend, sign, figure out what they need to do. But again, we are loading up on depth and we go get two today. And again, makes that a total of 15 players that the 49ers have signed uh, since the season has ended. So it'll be very interesting to see who else we get. But as you guys know, I know the number one thing that you guys are waiting for is you are waiting to see who the 49ers defensive coordinator is going to be. And uh, I, I would imagine that the 49ers make a decision here somewhat soon, um, considering that there's a bunch of candidates available and some good candidates at that. So it'll be very interesting to see when that decision is ulti ultimately made. Um, but we are waiting and seeing. So, of course, we'll update you if there are any additional roster moves, guys cut, released, added, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we saw that the 49ers signed an assistant offensive line coach today, formerly with the Raiders. So it's the offseason. Moves are going to be made. So that's why you got to turn on your post notifications. Make sure you don't miss any updates because we're going to bring them every single time they drop. So as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.